Welcome back guys. Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Truckers Lounge. Made it here safe and sound. Today is Friday. Uh, things get officially underway about one o'clock. So we're about an hour and a half away. Starting to fill up. We're gonna have two days of killer vintage trucks. So uh, if you like old school trucks, you're in the right place. Stick around town. Some of the dash lights changed out. Still got some work to do over on this side, but uh, I put a little license plate light to uh, illuminate my switches here because there was no illumination whatsoever. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got some brighter headlights tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Let's go. Love the wing. That's bad. I'm not usually a fan of the 9670, but I like this one. This one breaks the mold. Beautiful. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Did you do all the work yourself? No. Nope. It was painted and it was stretched when I bought it. All the mechanical stuff's done by me. Yeah. Yep. Man, it's gorgeous. Yep. We can talk about the trucker strikes. Remember that episode I did? Hello there. Howdy, howdy. What's going on today? heat <laughs> but you don't have to worry about it man no, it feels yeah. good in here i'm kind of spoiled i hope you don't mind if i video no. i uh i was here last year and videoed as yep. well I um, remember. yep and uh so this this year about two months ago um i featured uh part one of uh trucker wars are you familiar with that dvd that mike uh, parkhurst put out huh. yeah he, he goes over uh you know the history of the first uh, truck strike that, that that he started. Okay. And he, I didn't know he was behind everything. But that guy had his hand in everything. 
Overdrive magazine, of course, was his magazine. Right. Okay. But, but they were the catalyst for all three strikes. Oh yeah. Yep. So didn't know that. Yeah. But uh, very cool. So I'll be doing part two here soon. But oh, cool. Um, very interesting to a guy like me that was, you know, I was, I didn't, I was little, you know, I didn't yeah. really understand it, but now I do. So that's kind of, well, you guys were kind of born out of that, weren't yeah. you? Or, okay. Yeah. 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 It's, it's all that. It all basically stemmed right around that same time, and some of the same people, and all. Yeah. That. So it's. Uh, so what do you think? Is has Washington changed in all this time, or <laughs> everything stays the same? Yeah, it's uh, so many times. It's and it's uh, it, it's always trying to re teach some of the senators and congressmen because they come in and out, and depending on and who's in leadership, whether or not something sways yeah. one way or the other. So. Yeah, <laughs> there's times, you know, because I've been a member for a long time, never planned on working here, but I, you know, it just seemed like over and over we're having to go kind of reinvent the wheel trying to get yeah. our elected officials to understand, you know, what's going on in trucking. Yep. And so many times, like with the FMCSA, ever since it came about, mm -hmm. all they've done is done a big pile on, okay, with regulations and that. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah. And none of them, well, I don't know, it, technically none, but basically the leadership there have no clue about trucking. Yeah, they never did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> never it's did. Like, well, how do we put people yeah. in those positions that have nothing? Yeah, it's, it's a shame. It is just a shame. Yeah. All right, Marty. Yeah. Appreciate the good Congo and the, the nice cool air. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if you need you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to catch the early arrivals. I'm going to move along fast here. My battery's going. I'll have to go back and get another battery. But we'll get what we can get. Look at that W9. Mm -hmm. Nice. I love this guy's setup. Love it, love it. GMC, baby. You know, I should invite him to the show. There's Ken's. <laughs> Hello. Man, look at this Freightliner. Holy mackerel. Two phenomenal trucks. Holy mackerel. There's that bad boy. Man, this is clean, man. Nice. Did you say you work it or no? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Holy yeah. mackerel. How do you keep it so yeah. clean? Good Lord. I didn't use it this week. I used the other truck because I to get it all cleaned up. You got air in this one? What's that? Air conditioning or? No. No, yeah. It's hard to get the old school trucks with air. Yeah. That's my next prize. Did you do all this work to it? No, it was already painted like that when I got it. Uh -huh. the, the frame stretch got done right here in Ashland, right here by right. Brandon Carpenter. Yeah. God, it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, you get a lot of looks going down the road with this one, no yeah. doubt. You should see everybody when I show up to where I got a load. They don't, they're all taking pictures of it. Yeah. yeah I don't doubt see. that a bit. Something <laughs> they don't see every day. No. Where's the old man? He walked up that Oh, did he? Okay. He's looking Tell him Dane Scott was looking to harass him. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Love the graphics. Big whole wheels. Those look awesome. Do you mind if I video the inside there? I, I really wish you wouldn't. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Indiana. Never seen this uh, Emeryville before. Beautiful truck. 1964.
Man, this thing's got a stretch on it. Holy mackerel. Whew. That thing is beautiful. This truck. This belongs to Rodney Dean. Nice little general. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I like that curtain he's got in there too. Well, it's not a curtain. Okay, it looked like it was a curtain for a minute there. Very nice. That's what it was. And this is what it is. Beautiful. Love the Volvo wheels. I had them on my 359. And the double headlights. Nice. Oh. Look at that motor. 3408, baby. How you doing? Hey. How's it going guys? Good. Man, it's beautiful. I like the stainless foot pegs, whatever you want to call them, brackets. Hi. Hi. I noticed the light was on. Oh. Yeah. I'm looking through the window there and I says, is that bunk light on? Yeah. And then we just realized the door was open. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I don't know if you guys watch YouTube clean. at all, but I got a YouTube channel where I feature all... My husband watches all the, a lot. Okay, good. Oh, Tell him to check out the channel. Thing. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Wow. Did he have those uh, wood panels custom made? They're not, they don't usually look that well, nice. It's a, it's a, yeah, he had the, you can see the sign, it's by S&J, and then he's got our name on it right there at the bottom on the, on the oh, box okay, thing. okay, yeah. So it's all the, it's the original shell, but they got a new, yeah, the, the oh wood my goodness. There. Try to keep it somewhat original yeah. looking, right? Yep, exactly. And That's where I'm at, old school. Yeah, that's what we like to. I've got the, uh, 3408 in it. It's a 6x4. I know. So it's just that, all, that's all the original stuff. That such a piddly this. motor to put in such a nice truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it gets blown off for guys. Yeah. Oh, Anytime. it's awesome. Nineteen sixty seven. Yeah, probably can't see in there. I don't want to open the door. Looky here, look at this battle bruiser. Yeah. This is the way I like to see them. Survivor City. Look at that. The lettering's even still on there.
white western star good luck with that yeah man i've never seen one like that that is killer that is so cool That is so killer. Look at that. White Road Boss. Cab. How about that? One guy did a little truck show. He's got a big, like a quad axle Peterbilt dump truck. He painted the inside of the bed. It's got graphics. It's got hardwood floor in it. So that's that's all he does is he shows it. Yeah, so that's just um, Man. Identifies as electric. That's funny. That is just stinking awesome. That's all I can say. Boy, look at this one. This is beautiful Ford. Wow. How you doing? Nice. Class of 65. Needle nose peak. this bus. Man. This is Americana right here. This your bad boy? It is. Oh my goodness. My baby. That's got, just got awesome. How long you had that? Uh, two years now. Two years? Yep. You don't mind if I video do you? Yeah. I have a YouTube channel. Oh, sure. Sorry, putting sunscreen on. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about your bus. Well, she's a 1988 Crown Super Coach, built in Chino, California. And she's an 84 passenger. Kids. Uh huh. Um, unique features going to be it as a, a mid mounted Detroit two stroke. Mid mounted? Mid mounted. 671 turbo. 671, okay. Now it's an automatic transmission. Oh but man. The unique piece is the, uh, the motor does, it lays on the side as well. And it's got over half a million miles on it. Wow. Now, so you said it came from California. Mm -hmm. Did you buy it like this or did you do? It do was, stuff to it. It's it already back in Ohio, but this is the way it was when I bought it two years ago. Haven't, Man, haven't you scored. Anything, haven't done anything to it yet. <laughs> that is a score. Yeah. 
you mind if I go inside yeah, and video? Okay. All right. Yep. Thank you. Oh yeah. Man, it's in nice shape. It's not bad. It's got a few spots. Holy mackerel. It's got a few spots on the top outside and some rust and things that well. need fixed, but the 36 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Man. We all have a little bunch of curses. Next big project is I'm going to try to do some uh, buffing on the outside. Yeah. Try to get some of the chalky, chalkiness off. If I can, have some, have some friends going to help. Well, yeah, yeah, you're gonna. Um, trust me, I've uh, I got that 359 around the corner here, and yeah. I've done that by hand. Oh god! And uh, to me, that's the only way to do it. I mean, you really have to scrub on it. It's got some scum on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you tell it's good. Now, where are you from? I'm from Dublin, Ohio. Dublin? Yep. Okay. So how far is that from here? How long did you have to drive? Uh, I drove 70 miles one way. Oh, from, from yeah, that's not bad. I, it's in storage in Marysville, so it's a little bit closer. But How to drive? Oh, it does fine. Yeah? Yeah, it cruises along 55, 60 mile an hour just fine. Awesome. Detroit's strong. She doesn't, doesn't miss a beat. Sounded good coming in, boy. Yeah. Love that 671. It's best in the evenings when people are out walking. You can see them. Yep. Turn, turn around so that pit echoes through any, you know, any downtown section that yeah. just roars. Oh my gosh, yeah, it would yeah. echo right off them. Yeah, it's fun. So that's got to be a pain to work on though, good lord. Uh, it can be. Luckily on the inside, the floor comes up. Oh, does it? Okay. There's an access panel on the floor. Oh my gosh, yeah. Look at that. What a piece of history, man. You scored on this bad boy. Yep. I need to paint the rims again. I need to get some new chrome for it. I've never seen a Detroit on its side like that. <laughs> I've seen them angle, but not on their side. Yeah, you do 45 degrees sometimes, but yeah, these, wow. these on their side are definitely unique. Uh, you, would, you would think the oil wouldn't. Uh, evidently, it works. <laughs> it does. Well, seven gallons of it. Yeah. What year did you say this was again? It's an 88. 88? It's that new? It is. A, it's a new one, crown term. I'll be darn. Uh, yeah, I thought I heard you wrong the first time. The bodies on these, uh, on, well, the original ones were, the yeah. ones were done in the 50s. 88, uh, 88. About, about 1960, 61, they changed. The winch got a little taller. Mm-hmm. But beyond that, everything from here back, all those, they all look the same. So this is what you call White Line Fever Row for WT9000. Remember when Carol Joe Hummer said WT9000 with a 350 Cummins. Owner operate, operate to own. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's killer. Talk about 70s iconic. Look at these two, same paint scheme. Good grief. Yeah, this one was at uh, the GMC Jamboree. Yeah. Yeah. So there you have the end of uh, day one at the uh, Ohio Vintage Truck Reunion in Ashland, Ohio. Uh, they changed it this year to Friday and Saturday instead of Saturday and Sunday. So Friday, uh, trucks were rolling in a little bit later. So uh, the next day, which will be part two, uh, much bigger and there was a lot more trucks. I think the heat probably hurt it just a little bit this year, but not much. There was a lot of killer trucks and a lot of trucks that I haven't even seen before. So it was definitely enjoyable, though the heat was horrible 
at least on the second day, there was a little bit of a win, so it really helped us get through the day. So listen, if you like old school trucks, anything having to do with old truckers and truck stops and the old magazines, the overdrives and owner operators and just anything old school trucking, you're on the right channel. So make sure, please do me a favor, like the uh, video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you know when I post. And go ahead and uh, let us know your comments down below. All those things are what YouTube looks at to help promote the channel, so it really helps out. So listen, until next time, keep the hammer down, safe and sound. Ready to rock, Jack Wombo? Yeah, thank you.